Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now we will talk about Ops History Template, a step-by-step -step guide how to take a history step-by-step -step from the patient. You, if, whether are you a resident, a gynae resident, an MBBS student, or an exam candidate. So this is the step-by-step -step approach on how to take the Ops History. First of all, ask about the biodata, ask the name of the patient, husband name, married for, first marriage of both the partners, age of the patient, gravidity, piety and abortion, gravida, para-abortion, the last child born, inquire about the LMP, estimated date of delivery, calculated duration of the pregnancy, by the help of any formula or ops wheel, then ask about the education, occupation, residence, blood group. Then inquire about the presenting complaint, the date of admission, if the patient has been admitted or came to the OPD, or the mode of admission via either to the emergency or to the OPD. Then ask about the history of presenting illness. In the OPS history, it is different from the rest of the history you take from any patient in the includes that trimester wise history and then the detail of that presenting complaint at the end of the trimester. So in the first trimester, ask the patient whether the pregnancy was planned or unplanned, whether it was a spontaneous pregnancy or uh, used any assisted reproductive technique or any ovulation induction. How did she know about the pregnancy, any symptoms or any urine pregnancy test done? How was the pregnancy confirmed? Whether it was a urine pregnancy test, a blood, a blood beta HCG test, or any ultrasound done. Then ask whether she has done a dating scan or not. And then quickly go through that, whether the pregnancy was single done in that scan or a twin gestation. Inquire the patient regarding the supplement intake in the form of whether she has taken the folic acid or not. Ask the patient regarding nausea, vomiting, excessive vomiting to rule out hypermesis gravidarum. Ask about fever, flu, rash to rule out torch. Then inquire about per vaginal discharge, per vaginal bleeding or burning micturation to rule out urinary tract infection, which is most common in the pregnancy. In the second trimester, ask about quickening at which month she has felt the first baby moment. Ask about iron and calcium intake, whether she has done the normal scan or not, or and at which week or month. Rule out pregnancy-induced hypertension or gestational diabetes by asking about headache, abdominal pain, fetal swelling, polyuria, polydipsia, or polyphagia. Then we ask the patient whether she has taken the oral glucose tolerance test in the second trimester or not. Inquire her about the pervaginal discharge, pervaginal bleeding, or any burning micturition. In the third trimester, ask the patient regarding the regular checkups, the frequent growth scans done or not, pervaginal discharge, pervaginal bleeding, and burning micturition, and whether the fetal movements are okay to the mother or not. Regarding any presenting complaint besides the gestational amenorrhea, please take the details of that presenting complaint, check out the risk factors, rule out the differentials, ask in detail about the duration, severity of that problem, associated factors, the relieving and aggravating factors associated with that problem, investigations done so far, for example, anemia, and treatment taken. You can ask that this, the details of that presenting complaint either in the trimester-wise history or at the end of the third trimester history. Then in the ops history, quickly make a chart so that you cannot follow any of a single step. Ask about year of the child born, place of birth, mode of delivery, whether cesarean, spontaneous, or induced, any complications associated with the pregnancy, labor, intrapartum or postpartum, gender and weight of the baby, whether she has fully vaccinated her child or breastfed her child, 
whether the baby is alive, healthy, or any other any other comorbidities, any other problem associated with that child. Please do not forget to ask about the history of miscarriages, abortion, ectopic pregnancy in the obsessive field. In the gynae history, quickly go through the age of menarche, regularity of the menstrual cycle, contraception method she has used so far, the pap smear test, and the date of the last pap smear test. In the past history, inquire the patient regarding diabetes, hypertension, TB, asthma, hepatitis, thyroid, any other chronic illness leading to the hospital admission, and any prolonged drug history. In the surgical history, ask about any history of surgery, its complications, and do not forget to ask about the operation notes availability. Please, whenever there, are, whenever there is a history of hospital admission or any history of surgery, always and always inquire about the notes available. Ask about the discharge slip available or the operation notes available. This is the safe point regarding history taking. In the drug and blood transfusion history, ask about any history of drug intake. If the patient is unable to memorize the name of the drug, politely ask her, can you please show me those drugs? Or if the patient describes, you should know the color or the dose of some of the important drugs or medicines used in the opt, like the yellow tablet which is taken for the hypertension is Mikhail Dopa, name as Aldomet, or the white single tablet taken early morning before breakfast for the thyroid disease is a thyroxine, and so forth. And the blue, uh, blue colored medicine is a glucophage taken for the diabetes. So you should know about the description of the drug as well. Ask about any history of the blood transfusion, its complications and reaction if it has occurred. In the allergic history, ask the patient regarding any history of drug allergy, food or substance allergy. It can be a pollen allergy or a dust allergy. In the family history, besides asking about diabetes, hypertension, TB, asthma, hepatitis or any other problem, please in the ops history, inquire about the congenital anomalies. In the personal history, Ask about sleep and appetite pattern. Excuse the patient, say sorry, and ask, I have to ask about any history of smoking or recreational drug abuse. However, in the countries where the smoking or any recreational drugs are not prohibited, please do not excuse. In the socioeconomic history, ask the patient how many rooms there are in a home, how many persons live in that home, do you live a stable lifestyle, is everything okay at home? This is to rule out a domestic violence. And this is the most core, most important step to rule the domestic violence in the socioeconomic history. This comes to the end of the step-by-step -step guide of the history taking. And now next is the Udu template for the patient for, and to the, for the local patient uh, to be asked in the Udu language. The is I have uh, jotted down in the easiest and the simplest way how to take the ops history from any patient who cannot understand any of the medical jargons or any other language. So this is the step by step guide which includes the biodata, trimester wise history, ops history, gynae history, medical history, past surgical history, drug histories, allergic history, and family history the personal history, and socioeconomic history. So this is the step-by-step -step guide of the OPS history. And if you fulfill all these steps, you will not be able to skip any of the details of that patient. Thank you and good luck.